Hey everybody, welcome back to Jimmy's Promo. And today we're gonna to talk about the Samsung Galaxy Store and that you might wanna take a look at this because there's been a few updates in the last few days. So first off, what you're able to do is once you open up the Galaxy Store, on the very bottom right hand side, when you hit on menu, you'd be able to see how many updates there are for the applications that you have. Now inside of here, you're gonna notice a few of them just going from the Samsung text to speech, you also have the Samsung Sound Assistant, and this update here is a fixed icon error when connecting buds and good lock search function support, along with the camera assistant. So support version of One UI 5.1 or higher, support models of the S23, S22, S21, S20, Note 20, the Fold 4, uh, flip 4, Fold 3, Flip 3, Fold 2, and the Flip. Now, if you wanted to read some of these, you know, as you you tap on that icon all you'd have to do is underneath the applications you know name the icon right right there where it says what's new you can actually hit the down arrow and this is what's going to give you everything that's new along with all of the past updates as well so if you haven't done this update for a while you'd be able to see that there is quite a few things that was updated you know ever since this thing has been released also, when you scroll down, you can see when this one was updated. So this one was updated just a couple days ago on March 30th. If we go inside of the Sound Assistant, this one was updated on March 27th. When you go to Link to Windows Service, uh, when you scroll on down, you can see this one's updated March 28th. So basically, all of these is pretty much between March 27th, 28th, 29th, and 30th. So you might want to take a look at all of these ones. So I'm just going to go through hit on this little update button. Uh, but there is a couple other things that you also want to take a look at inside of the Galaxy Store. So sometimes I, I would get comments in my past videos because I was using different fonts. And I used to have a different font that I was using and how you're able to find that is when you go inside of the Galaxy Store, head over into themes. Now this is where you're able to download things that you haven't had just yet. And right over here, you see some fonts that you can go to. Some of them are free, some of them you do pay for. So here is cool jazz that you can download for free. Uh, but what I'm gonna show you is some of the ones that I had from before. So if I go inside of my menu, and then I go inside of my apps. This is going to show you all of the applications that you have currently on your phone or ones that you have had in the past. So some of these right here with the download little icon, those were the ones I had in the past. This right here just means that I can open up these applications if I wanted to. Uh, and then you also see a little uh, uh, semicircle, which is kind of telling you that you have an update for that application. So underneath all of the applications here, this can show you all of the ones that you had in the past, the ones you have currently, Currently, same thing with the games. You can see that there wasn't too many that I got from the Galaxy Store. And then inside of themes, there's actually quite a few different categories inside of themes. And again, that we're inside of my app. So this is showing me the things that I have had in the past. So if I wanted to, I can go back to a past, you know, a few different themes that I have used. The other thing is you can go inside of wallpapers. So if you're looking for some pretty cool wallpapers, there is some in here as well. Uh, let's see here. You can scroll through, take a look at a few of them. Now also too, I'm gonna to scroll down, take a look at icons. You can change the way that your phone looks with your icons. Here's your always on displays. So this one was a live breakdancing one. So I'm gonna go through and download this cause it was pretty fun to have on the phone. Uh, and then also too, let's see, let's go back into my apps. Now through here, let's see, themes. Now here's the fonts. So this is the ones that I've had from the past. And so here I can go through and I can download Rosemary and Cool Jazz. Now, if you are looking through the main page, trying to find these fonts and you can't find it right away, just go to search and search for Cool Jazz or Rosemary. And then this way you'd be able to find it a little bit quicker because sometimes what would happen is when you're just inside of the regular Galaxy Store, which is here, and then you go inside of themes, when you scroll down, maybe sometimes you might not see it. Uh, there used to be a little category that was, you know, from Samsung basically inside of here uh, that you'd be able to go through. Sometimes it's even put underneath recommended, but that one was wallpaper. So there's themes. Here's some top fonts so you can find it here. But again, there's a lot of them that you would also have to purchase. So if you wanted to find them super quick, you can actually just do the search button. Uh, here's another one that I've never had yet. And so we're gonna go through, we're gonna head on download. And the other stuff you can take a look at is all the featured things. So these are all of the editor's choice. Here's some music, videos, music, and live streams. 
you can win some prizes, I guess. I don't know. Here are some exclusives. So here's ones that are pretty fun to take a look at that are made specifically for Samsung right here in the Galaxy Store. And a lot of these will give you, you know, applications that you've seen on the Play Store, but they will do something uh, particular with the Samsung Galaxy devices. So there's some exclusive benefits when you get it from here versus getting some of these from the Play Store. So when you take a look at some of these and you notice that maybe it's something you would use, just go through it. There is some benefits getting it from the Galaxy Store on your Samsung phone. So we've pretty much kind of covered everything here. We talked about with inside of the Galaxy Store, you have a bunch of things you can take a look at that are featured. The exclusives that are literally, you know, made by Samsung for Samsung. You have edge panels, camera and photo effects, themes that we're talking about from before. So wallpapers, themes themselves, the top fonts. Here's some new fonts, always on display things, top icons, stickers, a whole bunch of stuff going on. Here inside of the menu, this is basically your things. So you have, uh, you know, my apps, you have updates. And so I've already updated everything beforehand. Again, there was six sitting there. You might have six, you might have four, or you might have seven. Just kind of depends on, you know, what you've done and what you have on your phone. So when you go inside of my apps, again, this is everything that's on your phone. There are some games that you've had, your themes, and don't forget about all of the different categories. So now let's say that you've downloaded some of those fonts, because some people do like to change the font on their phone. Just go inside of the settings. This is where you want to go inside of display. And then inside of display, just go to font size and style. And right here, you're going to have a bunch of options. Now, if you've never downloaded fonts before, you're probably only going to see three options that you can choose. But now you can go through and you can change however you want it to look. And once you tap on it, it's going to pretty much put it right in, you know, put it into that font for you, take you back a screen. You can see what things look like. You can also make things larger or smaller. Let's see, here's Gothic Bold. We have Samsung One and also the regular default. So Samsung Sans was one that I've used for a while. I've had a few comments in some of my videos asking me which font I'm using. Uh, this is it, Samsung Sans. Uh, and if you don't have it by default on your phone from those three or four you can choose, you'd be able to find it inside of the Galaxy Store. The other thing you can do is inside of the fonts and styles, if you tap here for fonts and styles, you can actually hit this button here. It'll take you right back inside of the Galaxy Store and then you can find it right away. So you have the top, you have top paid, you have top free, and you also have new. So that was really everything I wanted to cover in today's video. Some people do forget to go inside of the Samsung Galaxy Store, and they also sometimes forget to take a look at the menu button on the very bottom. Sometimes, you know, some people may just look right at this page right here, don't really know what's going on. When you hit on menu, you have your updates, and then some, they know about this, but then they don't know about the whole My Apps things and everything that they've had from the past and everything that they have right now. So it's pretty fun. Want to make sure you guys knew about this. Make sure you guys were caught up to date of everything that is brand new. Because sometimes when you update your phone, sometimes things are just sitting in the Galaxy Store that you didn't really know from before. So hopefully you guys appreciated this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left hand side. And if you like this video, the more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.